Live versus Geek Fam. But yeah, hey, Yves and the Grok. Perhaps we will see that again, that combination for Geek Fam. By the way, I just realized the carry and Claude. Un yeah, makes sense now. Yeah. Alter Ego have so much magic damage, they need physical damage uh, for... Oh, well, okay, Tour is the role. But yeah. yeah, Alter Ego need physical damage for the gold. So with Roger already banned out, with the Moscow already picked up, and with Carry and Claude now banned away, it definitely leaves Alter Ego in a tough spot to go for a physical damage hero in the Beatrix, gold ring. Clint? Yeah, Anabi? This, I mean, that would be oh, scary against yeah. this kind of comp. Ixia? No, oh, no. No way. So much, so much. Dive potential right here, which is why it's hard to find something. Hanabi. Yeah. I, I, I mentioned. I did mention the Hanabi oh, here, but it's still quite vulnerable. But at least you have immunity to the crowd control. Yeah, I like it. It's Coach Aldo, you know. It also Should makes be. sense for the architect himself. Will it come through here in eight seconds? Let's wait. Let's wait. You know. Let's leave it. it there you go. Oh it is Hanabi. Boy. Let's go. The strat is no longer at hundred percent, if I recall correctly. I think. Uh, I don't remember which percent. It was Alter Ego who used it. Oh, yeah. so now they're trying to work on that win percentage. Let's see how this plays out, man. The Hanabi immobile against all these dive tools available from this other Geek Fam. Let's see how Ooh. defensive, how effective the crowd control immunity can really be with the right composition, with a great front line and crowd control tools to deter the divers as well. On paper, I feel this is an Alter Ego win, is it not? They have all the tools to really counter this CC, crazy CC from Geek Fam. And Moscow's definitely not having a good time there. So, what will it be? 2-0? AE Bren. AE Bren? Oh boy. You too? I'm liking Alter Ego's draft too, man. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if it actually works out for them. Will they be able to pull out a 2-0 to zero victory against the King of Slayers Geek fans in game number two? Or can Geek force a game at number three? Remember, both these teams want to make it to the playoffs, so they need all the points that they can get. Oh man, Geek Fam are up against a world-level threat. That is A.E. Bren with the Lolita and the Hanabi. No holds barred when things are this desperate for all three go. Let's see, man. This is one match that Baloyski does not want to hand over to all three go. So you can expect the full extent of the BBB, especially on the Terizla. At this point, a bit of a signature pick. It's going to be decisive with the engages, but will that be enough? I think a boy right here has more to say, has more to do to really confirm the presence of Geekfam in that mid lane. But so far, with the Aggressive rotations from Alter Ego, they're having the better time with the faster clearing. Looking at the emblems here, tenacity for the for Chadera on the Moskov. He knows that after game number one, that he's gonna take some damage regardless, right? The dangers are just all over the place. But along with that, Bowesi with the full tank in the setup with the tenacity and the firmness. And you can see the same thing for Veldora as well. Going with no agility, but the festival of blood and the firmness. So he's trying to roam around and be that, uh, you know, the aggressive roaming threat, but on the side of Alter Ego, that, uh, that roamer golden combo, both with the Bargain Hunter, so they're really feeling good about that. They don't feel like they require any extra defense or anything else. They just want to get to scaling as fast as possible. Can we talk away a second? Oof, oof. I'm telling you, it's not going to be fun oof. for the Moscow, man. Even on like a Beatrix, the, the Hanabi is really good, especially with the Lolita. The Moscow, yeah, oh. I'm sorry, Moscow. I'm sorry, Chadera. The bounce damage just hurts. In like any shape or form, it just really hurts. And that's kind of the topic that I really wanted to bring out. The winning lanes, but I think it has to wait. It looks like both these teams are already on the next turtle. Look at Nino, trying to chase Vincent as he goes back. And fourth no! Oh! Again, winning on the retreat battle. Vincent losing out completely. Nino with a revitalize, still able to stay alive. Pops in the glorious pathway. Oh, this is looking good for A.E. Bren. Mm -hmm. It looks like they're going to be able to pick up that neutral objective, get them a little bit more of an advantage. Feels like the gold lane also has an advantage, but what about... Ooh. Oh, look at Ooh. that damage! No, oh, it's oh. coming! Oh, with the aggression! What was that? He's going in straight Ooh. at it. Oof. Yeah, he doesn't get it just yet, though. But back to that EXP lane. Who wins in the Fovius versus Hylos lane? The Fovius Hylus, according to Professor KB, we keep quoting him on this, but the Fovius should be winning really, really hard. But unless, you know, that's only if Nino, if the Hylus wants to engage in those trades. If the Hylus just clears, just waits out, plays passive, he has um, the 
lowest pathway to kind of roll faster as well into some of these fights. So as long as Nino doesn't really engage and just waits for Nile for the rest of the team to come in to punish Veldora, it's not, not, not a lot of things that Veldora can do. It's nothing that you can win so hard that you can die of the Hylas. So if that's the case, should Geek work on that as their winning lane? Is that the strategy that they should, you know, go with? I feel that's a fair strategy, but they might have to wait a bit longer because you can see the two revitalizers on the side of Altrigo. There's double synergy here with Nino and Owen. So for now, without enough items, they can't really do enough damage to really decisively take them out. So they gotta just wait a bit longer. And with a few more items, I do feel that Altrigo will have to be a bit more careful with how much they push this advantage of the early revitalized cheese. Man. An alter ego, the fact that they got the first turtle, Ooh. they can just keep on scaling like this. It's going to be real tough for Geek Fam to find an angle to even flank. There's so much peel on top of the fact that they already have tanky members here. Roundel will always be playing for Hanabi together with Olita. I really wonder how they're going to tackle this problem, Geek Fam. Boy now has the glowing wand though, so the region can be cut down, but look at this. Oh, penalty zone, Beloyski going on to Natalia there. A oh, boy getting ran down by the oh. horse. A boy! What is he gonna do? He can only just walk away there, but Nino pops in the Lord's pathway. Highs secures the turtle. They're giving him even more shields. Veldora going in with the infernal pursuit. That is the fracture to control this position. A real world inflation has locked them down as well, but Owen is still able to survive. Veldora continuously pushing out damage to the infernal pursuit. Oh. The structure connecting as well. But Highs is getting the bounce. Round picking up the kill and the peel for Highs. Vincent walking up. Going in. Vincent might be punished. Highs dodges away. Vincent cannot got the kill. It's the ninja, Hanabi, who gets the trade in the end. Three for one. A turtle in for the goat ties. What was Vincent thinking in that last exchange? The whole team diving at him, and he's still landing the hits. He's still landing the headshots. That's why he's the goat. Highs on the Hanabi, man. Only the corrosion side, and yet, with all the shielding, all the protection, he's just able to stand there and dish out that damage, man. We usually see mobility being the name of the game, but right here, it's just pure tankiness and pure peel. Alter Ego, uh, Geek Fam, they have ways to kind of do damage, but they have to be careful, man. They can't keep overextending like that. Absolutely not. Those things will be punished by Alter Ego, and they oh my God. have been for the most part. What's the oh my god for? Look at that shield. It's half oh, HP. Yeah. That's <laughs> a half HP shield. That shouldn't be allowed, bro. Oh, oh man. Oh. Vietnam blast. A boy stunned up. Look at Nile really hunting. Oh, he got about a connect. Oh, a boy in the back gets stuck there. Eldora. He get pinned down. Beloit gets a massive penalty zone. But he's the one that gets punished instead. Nile just chasing Vincent away. And that is a first. Tier 1 turret down in the mid lane for free. Their team fight is kind of disgusting, right, Alter Ego? Kind of? Okay, extremely disgusting. A Noomnom Blast, you have the ult Ridiculous. coming in from Heiss as well. Roundel is able to top it off. And not to even mention the slows coming in from Nino and even his single target CC. And Nile. Literally all five members have tools to incapacitate Geek when they go in for a full 5v5 team fight. At this point, Geek just has to go for some kind of dive to just get to highs. But when he's 2, 0, and 4 with the Aegis available, might not even be feasible. Vincent on the Nolan. In theory, this assassin can take advantage of the immobility of the Hanabi. But he's falling further and further behind. As a whole team effort, Altrigo are taking the game and running. Yeah, it looks like... I don't know. Alter Eagle, they need to think about... No, Geek need to think about this oh, a little I bit more. And it looks like... Ooh. Vincent is looking for that cross map play. They know that Alter Ego understand that they have the better 5v5. So they're trying to split things up now. Let's see if it works. Oh, the oh. charged up again. Owen finding two on the board. Veldora going to be caught in the midst of it all. Pops into Vengeance to try to escape. The real world inflation is there, but Nino just heals back up. They are not dealing any damage to Nino. Veldora gets baited by the low HP bar of Nino. El Patient El Sabar. Man, I think all they needed to do was not lose anyone by enough time for Vincent to pick up that second tier turret. And this is great decision making from Altrigo. They do know that there is a split push play oh. happening. Attempted. Nino? Okay. Won't be able to find the chase and won't be able to save the turret either. But you can see for Altrigo, 
the moment they see that Geek Fam are stalling, the moment they see that someone else is making a push, whether that's Chidera or Vincent, immediately the Numenon Glass gets used up, the Eternal Guard as well. Let's take a look at that replay, man. They're trying to defend right here as Nino just cuts them off completely. Numenon Glass sets everything up. And you can see that even with a real whip manipulation raining down on him, Nino just survives for way, way too long, man. What the heck is that even about? Just like that, all three will just keep outputting the damage. They have a Hanabi. They can hit multiple people at the same time. Already scaling up. Almost at that third item. Look at this the dude. DHS. Look at this dude. <laughs> what is that? You created this monster. <laughs> Wait, was Alder from Bigatron? He was, right? Yeah, he was. So Mirko is... That's not the point I was making, by the way. Wait, why? What was <laughs> the you, point you were making? Did you see the, the Smirko coming out? Of course. The Smirko. Oh! oh. Owen coming down, the Fracture dealing some damage there, but the Revitalize is still there, no damage, Owen, oh! Falling down with the hashtag, catches two highs! Free hitting in the back, the real world manipulation! Can't get Nino down! Ni not even close, baby! But look at that, that engage was kind of messy from all three go. And you can see that Geek Fam has a bit of a better time there, actually trading one for one instead of for zero. So all three go gotta be careful. They're only at a 3k gold lead, and by all means, they have great scaling into that late game. But if they have the advantage now, there's no need for them to keep trading evenly with Geek Fam and give them a better chance of finding a single miracle play to try and make things happen. Because you can see. Chadera immediately goes for the split push play. This is an options that Geekdom can use to try and confuse Alter Ego. Let's see if it works. You know? Oh, there you go. This pathway, actually. Vincent, is he spotting that push? Doesn't look like it. Hi, he's gonna be engaged on! Ooh! The shield coming in with the Aegis. Oh my lord, that shield is ridiculous. CC immune for a long time. The Minon Blast coming down. A boy, still with the real room. The Blade Shield, and it's a boy who gets the lower Alter Ego. Made a mistake, but still, the Lord will fall. Nile Low going in and has Tay not connecting. Nino. Unable to force a re-engage. Two for one, Geek Fam. Signs of life, Vincent. Not enough damage to take Nino. Oh man, that was close, but Geek Fam, they've got the Lord, and now with the superior mobility, with the Spear of Destruction, they can use this Lord a lot more efficiently than Alter Ego can. Alter Ego has been able to stop Geek Fam from doing this by forcing fights again and again. But now that the waves are gonna be empowered, they're gonna be pushing by default, Alter Ego, you gotta be a bit more careful in how they wanna move around and look at that damage coming in from a boy on the Yeev, man. That's how he was able to get that Lord in the midst of that fight. Only with the glowing one and Enchanted Talisman, he's just itemizing completely to be able to spam out as much as possible. He knows it's a front-to-back kind of game, so we've seen this before. Use the Yeev and the real world manipulation to really zone out your opponent's marksmen. And for now, our boy is not there just yet, but with another one or two items, this can be a real problem for Alter Ego. Absolutely, and it looks like Tajera is going to be a problem now for Alter Ego. Holy Trinity secured in, Narashi. It's gonna be a lot of damage, and even though there is a bulwark. Owen will be forced to kind of calculate which skill, uh, which person he wants to wait on that, uh, that bulwark for. Not to mention, technically, the, the Moskov can hit everyone in the team fight the same way like the Hanabi, just differently, you know, with the pierce through as well. So the positioning of Alter Ego, even though they're playing a pure peel for highs front to back composition, they have to be spread out a bit more if they don't want to give Chadera extra value from the three item power spike. Man, Alter Ego. Struggling to utilize that mid-game power spike of theirs. You know, messy team fight. Geek Fam can actually still get the dub. And like you said, Arashi, it's because a boy and Chadera have hit their power spikes. A boy always free in the back. Oh, Vincent going for the steal. He is able to take it away from Nile. You can see the issue right here. Alter Ego, not there to actually open up the map. Even there, Boloyski is standing there for oh. so long. Might be caught off, actually. He's too slow. Glorious Pathway coming down as well. Luminam Blast charged up. Nile so able to get the sight down onto Veldora. Oh, Eternal Guard and the terrified Veldora cannot survive. Veloisky can only just go in, sacrificing his life. Pure destruction. Oh! Tadera, the spirit of misery. Nile gonna run away. Gets out with the enhanced sword. Tadera almost pinning him down. Alter Ego get the win. Vincent up top going for the base turret. Will be able to take that base turret down. A win for Geek Fan. It is a win, but... What... What happened, right? They saw Boloyski, they knew that the Terizla has no mobility tools, Jump on, jumps on him immediately, but they were forced to chase down so far down into the jungle of Geek Fam. And while that's all happening, I guess Geek Fam has made the call. We can't really win out in the team fight. Yeah. Vincent can't really find the highs without getting denied completely. 
might as well just send him to split push. And they got the base turret, but the saving grace for Alter Ego is the fact that that base turret is on the same side as the Lord. And they have an insane amount of wave clear, and they're already on the Lord. Kind of force the hand of Geek Fam, force them to overreact, and maybe use some spells. Vincent again occupying that bush. Owen's still standing, Vincent walking up and winning after retreat battle! Niles shut down by Veldora, Boloiski will be slain. Good internal guards in the back, so actually Peel high still with a bit of nature. They're cutting back again with the Higanbana, but the damage is going to be too much, Vincent! Going across the board, getting turned by Rondo! Getting the course blast, but it is the King Slayers who walk out on top in this team fight! A wipeout against all odds! A.E. Bren stand no chance! What? What? Geek Fam! The King Slayers come back, ladies and gentlemen, in game number two, forcing a game number three against Alter Ego's Intelligence. The BBB, the brains in the team, not just on Beloisky, really propelled them forward. What? Two games. You blink and you miss it. Two games on the Hanabi Lolita. Two losses for Alter Ego.